Let's go ahead and get started here with Legacy of Solaris in three, two, one. Let's go. Knuckles is your favorite Pokemon? Dude, that's sick. <laughs> Starting off in Dusty Desert here, uh, I guess uh, Knuckles was in Dusty Desert for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why he's here, but hey, I'll take it. Thankfully not having to do any sort of billiard ball stuff. So, of course, with Knuckles, talking a little bit about how he operates in Legacy of Solaris, uh, we, of course, have his one, two, three combo, similar to Sonic Heroes, I believe, when you were, like, level one uh, with Knuckles. Uh, it's called the Stonebreaker, uh, is the move that he can do. Um, of course, we can jump and glide. A lot of the patches of Legacy of Solaris improve Knuckles' gliding. Plus, there's a specific patch that's on by default in Legacy of Solaris that stops Knuckles from uh, clinging on the walls, like getting stuck on walls when you climb onto them. But I want to get this out of the way right now when it comes to climbing on walls. So because we are not in stages that were originally, pro or not in sections of stages that were originally programmed for Knuckles, and the same goes for Rouge as well, um, the terrain has to be specifically tagged in Sonic 06 for Knuckles and Rouge to be able to climb it. So, like the stuff in Dusty Desert here, we're not able to climb up on this stuff with the gliding, which is actually interesting. It makes Knuckles a lot more balanced that so you can't, you know, just climb up the wall and then glide over everything in order to bypass all the challenge. So, uh, a weird limitation that doesn't make a whole lot of sense character-wise, but I think gameplay-wise, it makes things a lot more interesting. Another thing that we're gonna see that uh, specifically, I would say the stages that Jotaro created um, are that's pretty common in Legacy of Solaris is the leader mechanic, which we can see right here. Now, the uh, the radius of the Stonebreaker there destroyed all of those enemies, but generally there is a different colored or an invisible enemy like right there, and that's what's called the leader of the group, kind of like the gold egg pawns pawns in Sonic Heroes. If you defeat that leader, you'll destroy the entire enemy formation. And the Legacy of Solaris custom stages really love that stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, let's see, what do we need to do? Probably a switch somewhere. I'm sure it's hiding in one of these pots. <laughs> Ran on the ground, our GameCube holds a special uh, place in my heart. Pre-recorded, Mo? Uh, this is not pre-recorded. I'm definitely playing this live right now so live that I don't know where the switch is. Uh, it's gotta be in here, actually. <laughs> yep. Alright. That was, that was, uh, some bad play. What's up, timestamp guy? How you doing? Sonic Heroes, you hate it? You know, I gotta say that's not a hot take. Super Crim, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Currently, we're just playing some Sonic 06 Legacy of Solaris, finally covering that and doing some Knuckles story. Every stream is pre-recorded, yep. I just load up a, uh, a TAS. <laughs> a TAS of, uh, of stuff and just have the controller inputs to fake it and everything. All right, so talking a little bit more about Knuckles' abilities here, if we hold the B button, we have access to, or it's not holding the B button, that's the wrong 06 uh, remaster. Uh, if we hold the X button, uh, we can do the maximum heat Knuckles attack, or I believe in this game it's called the screwdriver. Uh, all you do is hold and then release X in order to uh, do damage. It does two damage to uh, most enemies. Um, as you see here with the egg walkers, they kind of have a different hitbox and everything. And, uh, sometimes, like, when they get knocked over, they're impervious to, like, an extra hit of damage. So they only take one hit and then are knocked over and you can defeat them there. But, uh, talking a little bit more about what else Knuckles can do, he can do a sort of drill claw attack. It's pretty useless. I would not recommend using it. I'd recommend just using the Stonebreaker, uh, combo. And another thing is to always finish the combo. Uh, the first two punches, like, they connect their hits often, but not too terribly often. So, yeah, I guess uh, I don't really want to hide it. I would say Knuckles is probably my least favorite character to play as in Legacy of Solaris because, ooh, oh no, we got keys to hunt, don't we? <laughs> this is a cool addition. Uh, from Chaos X. Chaos X went ahead and uh, added like the whole key system in the Legacy of Solaris, but it looks like we don't have a radar. Uh, so that's gonna be interesting, at least in these main stages. We'll see some some cool stuff in Knuckles' extra stages, but for the main stages, we're gonna have to search around for the keys, I think. I would imagine there's probably one back at the beginning here. I would imagine we could glide back over here. 
and made it an extra hunting stage? Uh, maybe. I feel like that'd be pretty big of an area to search for keys, though. That's you. Yep, right there. That was three keys. So, thankfully, in Knuckles' first stage here, it isn't too, uh, too difficult to find the keys. I'll be interested to see how often we have to do key hunts in the later stages in his story. But for right now, that was Dusty Desert. Pretty fun first stage to do with Knuckles. Kind of a tutorial to introduce you to the gliding and everything. Tried out the randomizer yesterday, super fun. Yeah, the randomizer is super fun. All right. Do -do. Yeah, all of the voice lines are shuffled in the PO6 randomizer, it's pretty great. Moving on here into White Acropolis. Uh, so like I mentioned with terrain that has to be specifically tagged for Rouge and Knuckles to climb, this section is one of them because Rouge goes through this in Shadow Story. Uh, so we can use, you know, the climb on wall and then glide over everything to our advantage here. I will say though that for the most part you can't cheese uh, a lot of the extra stages in Legacy of Solaris because obviously the Lost Legacy team knows how broken 06 is so uh they did their best when creating the custom stages to make it to where you actually have to complete them but at the end of the day 06 is 06 even with all the patches so we're able to bypass some things here anyway talking a little bit i don't know if i completely uh said all my thoughts i would say knuckles is my least favorite character to play as for the specific reason that it is incredibly hard to connect hits with him unless you're using the screwdriver attack. It's pretty annoying, and I think it's just a trapping of that this is a mod for the base 06 and not like a from the ground up project or anything like that. So yeah, unfortunate that uh, Knuckles kind of gets the short end of the stick here. Um, but you know, it's still fun to play through his story. I wouldn't say it's like a bad time, but I'd say it's a little bit more frustrating than a lot of the other characters can be. SX contribute to LOS? Yeah, he's in the uh, he's in the credits. Um, I would say a lot of it is PO6 stuff that was translated over, but I believe there are some custom animations that he made uh, for Legacy of Solaris that we'll be seeing in some other character stories. Do, 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 do. I want to mention again to the chat that I like to keep the comparisons to PO6 to a minimum. Uh, just because they're two projects that do very different things with the source material. Um, and I want, you know, to talk about Legacy of Solaris on its own merits and not compared to another project. But, of course, when there are direct comparisons and everything, I will make mention of that. Like if Chaos contributes directly to Legacy of Solaris or something. Ooh. See better gameplay? Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, the extra stages are pretty fun. No, I, I would definitely say that they feel like extra stages, like fan-created stages, but they're still really fun to play as regardless. I don't think the quality is diminished that much when going from uh, the regular stages to the extra stages. But hey, there we go. White Acropolis, a pretty short one. <laughs> what do you mean, timestamp guy? Do, 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 do. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. The Lost Legacy team is massive. In the part one, if you haven't seen the Sonic part of the Legacy of Solaris video, there are quite a lot of people that worked on this project. Um, but I would say like Jitaro, Gordon Ramsay, and Fen the Otter are probably the biggest contributors, especially when it comes to the Amigo stories and extra stages and stuff. All right, here we go. Knuckles' is Crisis City, I believe. We have multiple sections now. Our first two stages were one section. Uh, most of the Amigo stories function like Sonic Adventure 1 while where they're not like, you know, giant and extremely robust like the main Hedgehog stories are, uh, which I appreciate, honestly. It's a breath of fresh air. If we had Amigo stories that were as large as the regular character stories, uh, the Sonic Shadow Silver character stories, I think it would be really easy to burn out on Legacy of Solaris. Uh, did a whole playthrough a while ago? Yeah, um, I actually have a whole install tutorial uh, if you need help doing that, Super Krim, on installing mods into uh, Legacy or into 06 on Xenia. So you can check that out if you need it. Uh, because it is a little bit obtuse to get Legacy of Solaris running properly, so I wanted to make an install video for everyone. Have a right here. These enemies in particular, if you're not using the screwdriver, they can be a pain to try to defeat. Um, so I always recommend doing it. You pirated Sonic 06? I did not. 
Uh, emulating the game is not illegal. What's illegal is distributing and downloading the ROM. I got my ROM off of uh, the Xbox 360. It's actually really easy to do it. You can just plug in a USB drive, install the game onto the USB drive from the Xbox 360 menu, and then uh, get a, I believe it's a G-O-D to ISO converter, and boom, you got the ROM. It's pretty easy. How dare you use emulators? I don't think there's anything wrong with using emulators. Uh, I don't think any company has anything wrong with using emulators. It's pirating the ROMs. That's the problem. Do, 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 do. Hey, there we go. Collecting the rings. You know, really got a rub in the face so we could actually collect those rings now because the spline for the spring is different. Ooh, there we go. A little bit of artifacts. If you haven't seen other parts while you are playing on Xenia, um, you can press F4 on your keyboard and that's going to refresh all of the assets so if anything looks a little bit weird or you see like some assets have like zeros and ones or they're like all pixely and stuff just press f4 real quick on the controller i'm using a custom build that at the time i didn't know was developed by hyper who is also part of the lost legacy team that worked on legacy of solaris um and he mentioned to me in dms that there's actually a way to use the xenia canary build which is just a different build of the emulator um, compared to the Xenia that I'm currently using, uh, to not have to worry about that. But I wanted to be consistent with the, um, oh, this is one section. I'm surprised. I thought maybe we'd see some section three gliding, but that's okay with me. That was actually a pretty fun variant of Crisis City. We got to do some Knuckles combat and used, uh, or did a couple gliding sections as well, which is pretty fun. Yo, what's up, Lamb Chops? How you doing? Better than getting a virus on your computer? That's very true. In Sonic 06, level design kind of automated? Uh, it's a little automated. More automated than maybe Sonic Adventure 1 stages. Sonic Adventure 2 stages. I would say in terms of the, the base 06 content, so the Sonic Shadow and Silver stages, are... Gosh. They're probably as automated as Sonic Adventure 2 stages. Like, there's a lot of spectacle in this game. Uh, let me see if defeating this enemy formation here actually gets us something. I believe we've got a two-section stage here in Flame Core, which is exciting. Oh, the platforms rise. That's pretty cool. I think it would maybe be good if there were, like, a hint ring or something there, but I know LOS isn't in development anymore, so... I don't blame them for that at all. It's pretty obvious that you have to defeat the enemies there anyway, so... Maybe it's a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit too handholdy to have a hint ring there or something. Yo, what's up, Nalen? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Let's see, what else? I kind of talked about everything I wanted to talk about with Knuckles in terms of his gameplay and his stages and everything, at least until we get to his extra stages, um, which there'll be a decent bit more about uh, to talk about, which is exciting. Series X working uh, with Zenia? Yeah, you can uh, use the Zenia emulator and all of the 06 mods to... Uh, run on the Series X, which is super dope. Doo -doo. I saw her, but I have to check with Gordon. Oh, that'd be interesting. Uh, to see that. Uh, is this climbable? Ooh, okay. So, uh, I didn't know this, but I, I guess, uh, they restored some climbing. Some things you can climb on? Wow. Maybe we can climb on these because it's part of Knuckles' section in uh, Flame Core, in Sonic's Flame Core. How many stories have you done? Uh, we've completed Sonic and Tails. I'm going in the order of Main Hedgehog, Amigo, Amigo, uh, Main Hedgehog, Amigo, Amigo, Main Hedgehog, Amigo, Amigo, Last Story. And then uh, the Main Hedgehog Extra Stages. Because uh, each Hedgehog has nine variants of Extra Stages, which is kind of absurd. Um, but again, that's the beauty of Legacy of Solaris. It's just a massive mod. Take a long time to get through uh, If you're playing it, I do not recommend playing this mod and that's why like on stream. I'm not playing uh, I'm not playing the stories back to back every single day or else <laughs> oh God uh, The amount of burnout I would feel from playing this would be insane You do it with a ps3 version there is a ps3 version of the final build of Legacy of Solaris that 
is that works on the PS3 emulator, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly buggy. See, there we go again. Another instance of the leader destroyed all of that. So always good to go for the big enemies first in these extra stages because uh, it may save you some time. I really do like the leader mechanic, even though it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like with the Iblis enemies, it makes more sense because like you could co consider them like a hive mind. Um, but for the Eggman mechs, like I don't know why Eggman would design his robots uh, to do that. As we can see, one of the changes here is Knuckles' glide descent has been reduced, which is pretty nice. Um, especially since the extra stages are designed around that uh, additional gliding prowess. Uh, nice little thing there, abusing that we uh, start up top uh, when we enter Flame Core Section 2 so we can glide immediately, which is pretty neat. Unused dialogue? Oh yeah, there is a lot, a lot of unused stuff in this game. That was a close puff. Nah, we were fine the whole time. <laughs> I do wonder, I'm curious because I believe Sonic can hit the orbs. It makes me wonder if we're going to switch to Sonic when we get to Knuckles' uh, section of the stage here. Again, like I said, I like to have the Amigo stories be more of a, you know, traditional stream and everything because just there isn't as nearly as much to talk about because it's just stage to stage, which, you know, I still prefer. But uh, there's a lot more information when it comes to playing the regular Hedgehog stories. Yeah, basically, Zenfist, basically. Looks like we got some custom climbable terrain here. A pretty cool little section climbing up the lava fall. Kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts 3. Kind of. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, we're gonna play as Tails. Is Tails able to like dummy ring bomb the lights? Oh, he is. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. That is fair. We did play as Knuckles in Tails' Flame Core, so I guess this makes sense that we would play as Tails in Knuckles' Flame Core. Kind of cool. He did a pretty good job randomizing. I believe these are Rouge's locations uh, in Shadow's Flame Core. Uh, is where all these lights are sitting, but uh, we're gonna see a couple of variations of where the lights are sitting as we play through the different stories and, and stages and everything. They both said fuck off Sonic. I'm sure we'll be seeing Sonic uh, later in Knuckles' story if Tails' story was anything to go by. Tails? <laughs> What's up, Letters L? How you doing? Happy Thursday to you. That's what today is. Oh my goodness, I haven't heard that line before. Or at least it's been a while. Very cool. That completes Flame Core. A pretty decent two-section stage. I wouldn't say there's been anything that difficult in Knuckles' story yet. Maybe finding the keys in Dusty Desert can be a little annoying because there's no radar, but they're all in that ballroom hallway, so... All right. Tails! Oh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Thankfully, I don't believe, yeah, we don't have to play Iblis 2. That would be a pain with Knuckles. But skipping on through here, next up we got Radical Train. Another thing I guess to mention too, which I mean, it might be a little late in mentioning it, but I don't think it's too late, is that uh, Knuckles was not part of Team Attack Amigo. Team Attack Amigo, which was DLC for Retail 06, uh, that gave some of the Amigo characters extra stages. Those Amigo characters were Tails, Blaze, and Omega. Um, so all of these are custom stages made by the Lost Legacy team, which is super dope. Here we go, learn this from my uh, two year anniversary live stream of Super Hard, is that the climbing characters can actually climb these poles in Radical Terrain, which is pretty cool. A lot of this actually kind of looks like the Shadow Very Hard layout for Radical Terrain, but it's been a while since I've done that. Oh, come on. No! Can we save ourselves? No! Dang. I guess Knuckles uh, got a little tuckered out there. <laughs> All right, let's try to actually <laughs> get over to the other side here. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's so hard. I know <laughs> it happens a lot, especially in like my PB videos for PO6 and everything. It is so hard to not hum along with the music. <laughs> Because, you know, as everybody knows in 06, or almost everybody knows, I guess I can't assume every person on the planet knows about it. But I don't know, maybe it would be safe to assume that every person knows about it. 
That, uh, the 06 music is extremely good. Here we go, little rainbow ring. Seeing an unused rainbow ring animation for Knuckles there instead of just a T-pose, which is pretty cool. Uh, we should be able to jump in... I don't think yeah, our glide's too heavy to do that, so... I think maybe destroying this enemy? Oh, what am I talking about? We can climb these. It is a little bit hard to remember what you can climb and what you can't climb because, like, there isn't any indication of whether or not something is climbable. You just kind of got to glide into it and hope you can climb it. But hey, there we go. Knuckles' radical train is donezo. I don't know if every character does. I can't... I think Tails did as well. So, maybe. Maybe they did. Yeah, you can't hit the enemies with the glide. Yeah, it does kind of stink, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, again, just one of those little trappings. 06 is going to be 06 uh, sometimes. Even with all the patches. And, you know, I don't want to underestimate or understate how much the mod loader patches actually fix uh, 06 and make it a lot better experience, if you couldn't tell by the gameplay. Uh, here we are in Wave Ocean. I guess Knuckles is just fumbling around in, in Wave Ocean. Maybe he's alongside Tails or something. Um, but I believe we might have another key hunt, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, on our hands here. But we'll see. As we head through. I do really like playing as Knuckles in 3D. The I really wish that we kind of got more point A to B gameplay with him. Um, I personally really think that the gliding and climbing characters could just have a stamina meter and it would be totally fine. Like literally the Breath of the Wild paraglide system, I think would be one of the best ways to balance it. Like even the climbing too, like literally just rip it from Breath of the Wild <laughs> uh, because it's really good there. And it would make sense that, you know, Knuckles can't glide forever. Princess is dying. Let's collect some keys. Hey, you know, that's how it is. I'm sure Sonic's on the ball, right? Um, Maybe, maybe the only regular stage with Knuckles is the key hunt. The extra stages, if you really like the treasure hunting gameplay uh, from Adventure 1 and Adventure 2, uh, the extra stages for Knuckles and Rouge got you covered. They have four each, um, which I'll talk about more when we get there. But if you're more of a point A to B guy like I am, uh, the regular story stages are going to be your best friend. Doo -doo. I like how creative they are with actually having to glide uh, around here. I honestly think that the gliding in terms of like the distance per how weighed down you get is actually really good in Legacy of Solaris. Uh, when you're doing point A to B stages, it can be very annoying in, like, the regular 06 stuff because you have to go around and, like, find things. Well, at least in Knuckles' case, you have to find the... or hit all the orbs in Flame Core, but for Aquatic Base, it's a little bit worse. Gordon said jump damage is impossible? Uh, I could see that making sense. Uh, with how 06 works and how much you can modify the game. Because, of course, since 06 is a base for Legacy of Solaris, with it being a mod, you can't change absolutely everything about the game. But you can fix it up quite a bit, as it has here. Moving on, I believe this is our final stage in Knuckles' story segment of his story stages. Uh, aquatic base, so... I'm sure we'll be doing a lot of enemy fights. Who knows, maybe we'll get a key hunt somewhere in here, too. Do, 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 do. We were this close to playing with no shadows? Wait, what do you mean? Leave it to me. Yo, there we go. We got Sonic the Hedgehog. I thought this was Knuckles' story. Uh, well, we have all the gems available to us, so I'm sure we can just kind of <laughs> shortcut this section here. Let's do it. You know, Sonic got an entire story dedicated to him, so I think we can cheese a few things. I would imagine this is the right way to go. Yeah, the spring's down there, so we can just whoop, sneak right on through there. Do the classic 06 thing. I will switch back to Knuckles, though, even though we can uh, do this as Sonic just fine. Oh, he got his own story, so. 
Does that? Oh, it doesn't. Interesting thing, too, is that if you let go of the X button during the animation for the Stonebreaker, the actual area of effect attack doesn't happen. Like, you have to be holding the X button down for that shockwave to occur. Oh, gotcha, Bomb Squad. Yeah, I suppose we were. But hey, we're all good now. To be honest, I didn't think anything of it. Do do do. No hub worlds exist in LOS? No, the hub worlds exist in the main character stories. We will probably be playing Silver today as well. Uh, I know I'm ruining the immersion of the YouTube video. <laughs> that I do, you know, try to do two stories. That way it helps and I have plenty of time to edit. Because these, I will say, the Amigo stories are... Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> to the depths we go. But, you know, that's how it is. All right, finally back to where we were. So let's not uh, let's not stumble and actually hit the switch here. Oh, uh, look at all these enemies. Thank goodness this is a 3D game. We can just avoid them. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is kind of more like Silver's aquatic base now that I think about it. Well, a lot of alarms here. <laughs> we definitely don't want people knowing. I feel like it'd be pretty annoying considering that we can see right here are the computers that the supposed Soliana researchers worked on, you know, sitting right here. So having those alarms in the background's got to be real annoying while you're trying to work. And here we go. Is there maybe a leader? I'm going to try hitting the big guys first, see if that helps. Again, the screwdriver, just an incredibly useful tool <laughs> when the when the stone breaker isn't working, as it isn't. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, punks. <laughs> you asked for it. I don't know if the screwdriver does more damage the longer you hold the button. I don't think there's any indication of it. Let's try it. Yeah, there's no indication of it being further charged, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did more damage the longer you hold the button down. Oh, we have one ring. I'll grab a couple more here. Imagine the rockets blow your rings into oblivion. They do. Let's see. Opened up this way here. Because Eggman set them off? Oh, I imagine. But, like, imagine you're just working and alarms go off. There's eight alarms in that room. <laughs> It would probably be extremely annoying if you're trying to work and the alarms go off. But I guess that's the point of the alarm, so... <laughs> like, uh, oh, the base is on fire or the base is under attack? Jeez, all right. We'll do it as we practiced. <laughs> like a school fire drill. Uh, this is the issue... I have with Knuckles, as I've stated a couple times in this playthrough so far, is just... Uh, like, if you can't kill the enemies with the Stonebreaker, the... The, uh... The screwdriver just... It takes so long to charge and, and just hit every enemy. We can hit this leader here, though, for fun. If uh, it homes on into him. There we go. Do do. All right, moving on here. Got ourselves the magnetic poles. Magnetic poles in aquatic base. If you don't know, you hit them, destroys all the enemies around you. It's very nice. Oh, and here we go. The tail section. This is a very appropriate tail section. Pretty neat. Probably just as easy as the knuckles, uh, as doing it with knuckles, to be honest, because, you know, Tails' flight is amazing. I imagine we just hit this switch. It's going to open this door up. Or not open the door up, but I get just guess just teleport knuckles. Oh, here we go. Big alarms coming up. I imagine we got a big enemy gauntlet here. It's kind of too bad that the multiple pathways in Aquatic Base is just this one extra room. As I will say, like between the three main hedgehog stories, like most of the stages do a great job of having, you know, extra areas that you don't go through in uh, the regular game. Where's our? Oh, they're up here. 
Nice. But aquatic base D is just kind of this. Low, I gotcha. Thanks, Steely Orange, for subscribing for 11 months in a row. Enjoyed the gem and emotes, Stelmo, to love. <laughs> I don't know. Should I repeat myself? You know what? I will. Teal, thank you so much for subscribing for 11 months, man. You are one month away from that beautiful, beautiful red gem. Enjoy that gem and all the emotes that go along with it. And thank you so much for supporting the stream. And thank you for getting me covered. I, <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Do, 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 do. The invincibility is so interesting in 06 because the invincibility doesn't damage enemies. It l quite literally just makes you invincible. It doesn't give you touch damage like the invincibility does in a lot of other games. Let's see, how? My goodness. But how you doing, Teal? Happy Wednesday to you, man. Screwdriver. Okay. <laughs> Hit his shoe, I guess. Come on. And there we go. That completes Knuckles' main story, I would imagine. Unless there's some sort of, like, epilogue stage that I don't know about. Yo, what's up, Glass Moth? Yeah, we're into Legacy of Solaris here. Just completing up Knuckles' main story, so let's jump into the extra stages. Next up here, we got White Acropolis. I believe is another key hunt. Let's go. All four of them are, are key hunts, so I guess that makes sense. What's Sonic doing here? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that, that's a fun little thing. I'm sure the hint's like next to Sonic. Beneath the ice. Uh, I imagine. Ooh. We got a hit. Thankfully, we can climb in this section, so it makes key hunting a little bit easier. Or beneath this ice, I guess. Can we break this ice? How did how do we break it? Can I like break it with the stone break? Oh, that works too. <laughs> oh wow, it's just the uh the climbing section. I mean, that's fine with me. <laughs> Personally. Let's see, let's go. Well, that was quick. Hey, there we go. Happening like it's supposed to. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I don't know why. I almost want to play Dusty Desert again. All right. I think Rouge's is the final portion. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, 104, dude. Pog. I, I, to be honest with you, I was a little worried about Dusty Desert, but uh, it doesn't seem too bad. Ooh, this will be an interesting one. I would imagine we can climb these. Yes, we can. How about going up? Oh, I agree with you, Knuckles. <laughs> Still in wave ocean, aren't we? Um. No. <laughs> oh, it's right here. That's really scary, uh, considering <laughs> the control of 06. Little troll key. Oh, I would imagine glittering atop the lighthouse. I don't think we can go to the other lighthouse, so it must be here. Oh, there we go. Maybe we can't climb, but we can glide up walls. Very nice. <laughs> Stand on this, we can. Woohoo! I guess, can we climb Lighthouse? Oh, no, but we can't climb here. It might. Jeez. This is going to be big if Shadow Section is also open. Uh, looks like... No, okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> I got worried for a second. That would be quite a large area to search. Um, let's see. Knuckles finally stops hugging a wall. Yeah, I think it's because the detection... I think the reason for that bug is that every frame Knuckles and Rouge were near a wall, they had detection on whether or not to climb it. Ooh, there we go. Just saw the third key right there. Um, so, like, you would try to jump off and then it would instantly check 
uh, to see, like, if you could climb again. I think the fix for it, like, what the patch does is literally the check is only on to see if Knuckles and Rouge can climb if you're gliding. I suppose. They kind of just look like stalagmites to me. Very cool, though. Interesting up. It is cool we can do treasure hunting, especially for the people that really like the treasure hunting. Um, but let's see. On to our final stage here. Oh, we get to do section two. That's fun. I was honestly thinking we'd do the ruins for the key hunt. Oh, don't do this. <laughs> I feel like I made the wrong choice going down instead of up. Yeah, I think it was up, actually. Yep, there it is, right there. These are cool. They're they're small and contained. Um, they're actually. I mean, I would say Dusty Desert wasn't that fun, if I have to be honest, because uh, it's been so long. I think I like attempted one of these extra stages, and I was like, treasure hunting, get out of here. But, uh, because I don't really care too much for the treasure hunting in SA1 and SA2. Um, but, uh, this is kind of fun with how small and contained these sections are. Kind of like none of them really get beyond the size of, uh, uh, maybe like Pumpkin Hill. Knuckles looking for keys for no reason, because it's fun. This is considered an extra stage. This isn't something that you do in in uh, normal gameplay. Like this isn't part of his story or anything. So it's just a, a fun side thing you can do, but hey, very nice. That was cool. Uh, getting some artifacts in the results screen there. I'm gonna go ahead and give Dusty Desert another chance, I think. So gonna be a bit awkward in, in terms of the editing, but I wanna give Dusty Desert another chance. All right, here we go. Dusty Desert. Easy key one. Um, as you can imagine, we do have the radar. Again, a bunch of artifacts there. Just press an F4 to get rid of that. Um, <laughs> uh, you can see here. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. In Dusty Desert, uh, all of Knuckles's and all of Rouge's extra stages are key hunts for, uh, for them. So if you were a big fan of how the key hunts uh, or the treasure hunting stages in SA1 and SA2, uh, you're gonna love these because they're pretty fun and pretty interesting with how you have to go about it because this was made by fans uh, and I do want to give a shout out to Gordon Ramsay and Fen the Otter even though the the stage card will say that they worked on it um even still I want to give shout outs to them because apparently it was quite a lot of work uh, to get this uh to get this all working so Hopefully we'll have a good time. Dusty Desert's interesting because it's more of like a spidery, uh, a spidery style stage. Like there's a bunch, there's a central hub and then a bunch of branching pathways. Thankfully though, at the end of these really long pathways, they placed portals so that you don't have to like glide all the way back through if you maybe went the wrong way for a key or something. Do <laughs> Hour 10 lol. Why is that funny? It's just how long the story took. Let's see. The glowing vase. There aren't any vases in here. I think this is just going to be one of those I look around the stage until I find it. Okay, nothing in this room. Um, Is there another way we can go through here? I believe there is. We can head to this door instead. The sand is still instant kill. So be careful, and there are no checkpoints, so if you die, you will have to uh, redo the stage with a new set of keys, so be very careful. Okay, nothing in here. Wow, where are these keys at? Thankfully, this sand is an instant kill. I don't know. <laughs> the sand in that, in that big sand room is instant kill, so better be safe than sorry. Um, is it just in this room. Wait, I saw something glowing. Hey, there we go. Very nice. Okay, time for the final key. 
Do -do -do. Oh, here we go. We got a ping. We're coming up on a PB, are we? <laughs> uh, let's see. It's got to be close. Uh, how is one supposed to get on that platform? I see it. It's at the top of this room. Uh, we can't bad Nick bounce, so that's out of the question. Maybe defeating these enemies will launch a spring or something? Or maybe Knuckles can jump higher than I imagined he could? Oh, Jesus. Come on, man. Oh my goodness. Screwdriver time. Can I climb? I see it. Oh, there's a platform over here. Okay. Oh, of course I missed. Oh. Wow, this is kind of annoying. The <laughs> uh, platforms are off cycle here. There we go. Hey, very nice. All three keys and that's Dusty Desert. So that was uh, Knuckles' story. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next up, we got Silver. So we'll be there in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.